No, we, we can't be so proud, proud, a uh, proud and uh, arrogant attitude, uh, uh, so, so, so high-minded that we won't even ask, who am I that I can't ask God to help me? Why do I, who, who do I, who am I trying to impress that I can't allow others to see me petition the throne of grace? Man, I am a light man or you are a light woman just like anybody else. And we have to understand that, that there's no problem. Nobody can look at you and say, look at her, she's asking, uh-uh. Do you the deeds? All of us. Yes. And that's 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 number one. You number one, we got to we got to we got to we got to come off our come off our amen. Old folks say high horse and recognize number one that we got we got a problem. Yeah. So people and can't ask God to help us. The wrong thing is to act like ain't nothing going on. Picking up passengers, coast to coast. How you doing, brother? Faith is the key. Open the doors of boy. Cussing your wife. There's hope for all. Your boy over there smoking so crazy. You got a problem. You're tipping around, you're doing this and that. Dog. You're acting like everything is good. God looking at you. Preacher, what are you, what are you saying? I got a problem, and the first thing I need to do is admit it. I got a problem. For the hopeless sinner. Once you do that, once you do that, once you start asking God, you can move, you can move from that. And you know what? Another thing is, along with that failure to ask, it's just thing called selfishness. Too many people cannot see or think beyond. You know, there's no kind of play. Let me help some, you know, when, 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 when we pray, we don't need it. One thing we need to try to get out of our vocabulary, especially when we're praying publicly, is I. You don't amen. Think no best. Say amen. Just say I. When we pray, we ought to pray in a collective mind. We, Lord, I, I, I need your help. Wait a minute. We're praying for everybody in here. Lord, help us. Lord, I, 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 I know I got problems, but we're praying for us. We all got issues. Ask God to help us. It ain't all about you. This boy, do you got problems up in here? There's a train of It's an us. We, we need your help. What the Bible say about singing? Why we don't have instru or mechanical instruments of music and worship? Why is it that we must give as God has purposed us? And our, we teach folks what the Bible says. And when you teach somebody something, they got it in their hearts. For the train to join. Picking up everybody here know the old adage. Coast to coast. Give a man a fish. Faith is How long will he? Open the doors <laughs> But if you teach him how to fish, he'll eat the rest of his life. Preacher, what are you talking about? What are you getting at? We have to teach folks what the Lord would have them to do. Giving them stuff and come on over here, get your praise on. When you teach them what to do, you ain't got to tell them to get their praise on. When you teach them the word of God, they'll know to praise the Lord. That one was sell. <laughs> Against the kingdom's throne. Too many times. The, the, the gimmetry is not working. The gadgetry is not working. We lost all kind of people on Wednesday night because we, we can't compete with denominations on they on they level. And we shouldn't even try. You don't need no We can't we don't have as many video games as they got. We don't have a full court basketball court. We ain't got volleyball. We ain't got arcade machines that look like the real machines. We don't have a video room. All you need is But I tell you what we do got. We got something that grandma sells. Stick to your bone. You don't need no ticket. We got the word of God. And that's what's gonna make the difference.
deliver us when everything is said and done. So yeah, that's what's gonna make the difference. And so, and so, and so, if you want God's grace, you gotta be just. You gotta, you gotta be righteous. You can't act in the old kind of way and expect God's blessing. You gotta be perfect. You gotta be, be mature. You got to do things completely. Is that all right? And then the last thing, the Bible said, no, he walked with God. Woo, boy, ain't that something? He walked with God. You know, you know, I read about another man named Enoch that walked with God. You know, and he was translated. God took him. Ain't that something? He walked with God. What does that mean? I know we can't literally walk with God today, but what does that mean relative to you and I as Christians? That means that everything we do need to line up with what God has to say. Is that all right? Whatever God's will, guess what? That's my will. Is that all right? Whatever God says, is that all right? See, that's where it's got to be. Our will has to line up with God's will. If God say, don't go out there, don't drink, don't go to the club, my will is, I'm not going to drink, I ain't going to the club, and amen. You don't need no baggage. See, that's a problem too. We send mixed messages in the church. All you need is Some of us, not all everybody, but I've been here long enough to see folks sending mixed messages. You don't need no ticket. They say, well, I love you, Lord, on Sunday. Lord have mercy, Friday, can't tell them apart. I'm trying to help somebody. So people can, you know, you know. And then, and then come back and say, I, I, I love you, Lord. And then Friday, picking up past you can't straddle the fence. Coast to coast. I'd rather you be hot or cold and lose faith is the key. You can't go in with the devils on Friday and then come back over with the saints on Sunday. And matter of fact, who are we to? My Bible tells me in the book of Hebrew that the eyes of the, are not in the book of Hebrew, but it, what it does say in the book of Hebrew that, that, the, we, that everything is open and naked to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. But the Bible also speaks that the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good and the evil. So we're not escaping God. Amen. Amen. So, so, so he, here's the question. Here's the question. If it's God's will for me to do right, sometimes, sometimes, we, 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 you know, and I, I'm going to tell y'all this story. And uh, I'm going to bring this on in. Uh, I may have told you before, but I'm going to tell you again if I hadn't told you. Uh, but, you know, I, I was praying, Brother Stacy. So prayed hard and long that my wife wouldn't be incubated. I think I told you. Incubation meaning that, that they wouldn't have to go you in don't with no I prayed fervently. I know I, pray. I know I got faith and I know I was praying hard. But you know what? It wasn't God's will. That's a tough pill to swallow. It's tough for me to swallow. But the final reality of it all, I had to swallow. Because there wasn't nothing I could do about it, no way. You don't need no Amen. Amen. <laughs> and we, we and when God has spoken, when God's will has been acted, accept it. You don't what are we going to do? Now see, now see, we, we talked about too. You know, we, we talked about that. You and I, you and I, we, when it, when it comes down to things in this world, there are a lot of things we don't have no choice about. So people get ready. For the truth, you don't have no choice about. If it pour down rain outside right now, you ain't got no choice about that. Best thing you can do is put something on. Try to stay dry. No choice. If all of a sudden, even, even, even in life, just, just, just rudimentary things, just air, just movement, all of these things are subject to the will of God. But I want y'all to know something. God has a choice as to what He accepts for the hopeless from us. Somebody say, well. Just to save the zone. You know, but God will have pity on accept it if I, if I just give him a little bit this Sunday, next Sunday, I give him a little bit. 
against the king. Let me get a better example. You think God accepted it? If this, this worship service, we, we have a little piano. And, no and, you know, next time we'll go back. So what about this? Let me tell you something. God doesn't you have don't to accept no baggage, you just anything you know. other than what he wants. He showed us that he is. Abel, the Bible says, by faith. Abel offered up a more extra sacrifice than Cain. Y'all know this story. Because Cain wanted to give God what Cain wanted to give God. And God rejected him. Abel, by faith, how do you get faith? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Abel offered up a more extra sacrifice than Cain because Abel did it according to God's word. Join yourselves out there. So 